Okay, this is now the five minute tarot for the 9th of June 2017. And we have to begin today by saying hello to Ruth and Clem sitting in a veranda somewhere in Queensland in Australia. Okay, um, so somebody sent me an email because his 17 year old son has to make a choice or decision about what his career is going to be. And the emailer wanted to know what to do. Could the tarot answer or what's the best way to answer it? So I thought I would do that as an example today, partly because you, you can probably use this approach for any card or for not for any card, for any question. And um, so what I what I suggested was, and I'm going to give you an example now. Um, OK, the son wants to know what his career should be. You pick three cards and see what you get. And you, you could pick one card, but that's kind of asking a bit too much and maybe doesn't give enough information. But if you pick three cards, you've got different strength. Maybe it's going to show different strengths and weaknesses so that a reversed card could indicate an area where he's weak. So maybe the three of cups reversed. He needs to develop some better people skills. You know, he's not very good with people or he's too shy or he's too pushy and doesn't quite know how to relate to people. So he could maybe read some books or take a class or watch some YouTube videos about how to relate better to people. So it could be that or it could be with the Three of Cups reversed. Don't go into sales where you have to deal with people. So again, it's, it's two sides of the coin. But with the Three of Cups reversed, in some way, dealing with people one on one isn't a strength that he's got. So he could turn it into a strength or recognize it as a weakness and do something about it. Or he could just avoid that area for the time being. So again, if if you pick three cards and then look at them and you want to know what the career ought to be or what he's best suited for. So the cards that I got were the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords and they're all upright. So we look at it. And we've got the, the Hierophant. And because he's 17, I don't know his name, because he's 17, we look at the Hierophant, we've got the expert above and the two people learning down below. So probably he's one of the two people learning because he's 17. And it's unlikely that he's got some particular skill that he can pass on to other people. Because the Hierophant partly is about teaching and learning. So it looks from this Hierophant that he ought to go or it, it's good idea to go to university, go to college and get some kind of higher degree or some kind of specialty qualification. Right? Whereas if the Hierophant had been reversed, we would say, forget about college, forget about university. You're better off to go into the workforce. And there was a book I read, I can't remember the author's name, some years ago. Um, and it had to do with, he, he became an extremely successful advertising designer. I forget what the word would be, um, but he was involved in advertising and was very successful, copywriting, ad campaigns and so on. And he didn't go to university. All his friends did, but he didn't. But instead, he joined an advertising agency and worked his way up. So for the Hierophant reversed, it could be, don't waste your, t well, don't, there's no need to go to get a qualification, find a job, begin at the bottom, and you'll quickly or reasonably easily work your way up to the top or to the position that you want. But he, we, I got the Hierophant upright, and I trust the tarot. I mean, if it's upright, I read it as upright, and don't say, mm, well, maybe it's maybe maybe I did the wrong thing. Maybe if I turned it the other way, there's no there's no point in in being like that. So just don't. Okay, so with the Hierophant, so it looks like some kind of university or college course would work. And then we get the Knight of Pentacles. So Knights are messengers. So we, if, if we break the card down, Knights are messengers. So being a messenger can be part of his business or his career. So maybe he's in sales or advertising or um, part of a team that in some way delivers information to other people. So an IT 
information technology person, only because it's 2017. 50 years ago, you wouldn't be talking about information technology. But we can now, and it's reasonable. So we've got the higher education, and now we've got the idea of being a messenger. Um, also because it's pentacles, that can mean money and business and banking and uh, commerce. So um, the two together, maybe he does, or he, he, he does a business course, um, and maybe he specializes in communication in some way, in crafting decent messages. And then we've got the Ace of Swords, which is, I, I, I like the key word for this card, and it's organization. So higher education, messages, and organization, we get an idea of the, I mean, it's not working at the gap, working at the gap, which is a clothing store in North America and probably elsewhere, right? So it's not that type of experience. Whereas if we'd got um, uh, pentacles and the three of cups and the two of cups, for instance, that could have been working one on one with people and being pleasant, being nice, being friendly and and helping them to make up make a decision about what to buy. So that would work for working in a store and being part of customer service. But because the sun has a hierophant, which in some way is education, and the Knight of Pentacles, which can be business related, um, and then the Ace of Swords, which is organization and time and efficiency. Right. So you 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 want to not waste time. And that can mean that maybe he's involved in as as a time and motion expert, ultimately, where where he or maybe he um takes a, he 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 does a degree in psychology, and then he uses the knowledge that he gained from different psychological schools to help people design user interfaces on websites um, or something like that, where he takes his his qualifications in one area and applies them in a different area. So instead of becoming a psychologist who does psychological aptitude testing with people, maybe he takes it and applies it in a different area. So that, that's that's one way to answer the question. You take three cards. Why three? One isn't probably not enough. Two can be confusing because you make it contradictions. But three somehow is uh, quite good, like a triangle. And all three cards in some way work together. Because with two you can be have you can have you know one one pulling in one direction, one pulling in the other. And so you can be swinging back and forth. But with three, you've got a triangle. And somehow that seems harmonious. The other, so that's that's what I would suggest for a question for the, for choosing what the, the son's career should be. But then I thought it, it's probably a good idea as well to ask him what he wants to do. So ask him, to come up with a list of a few or as many as he wants careers that he would be interested in and then do a yes, no spread, maybe pick one card for each of them. So let's say he comes up with five different things he would like to do. And this can have the advantage that he, the 17 year old, instead of being told what to do, he may think, well, you know, I don't, I'm just not going to do it. Or it was your idea, not mine. But if you ask him to come up with various ideas of what he might like to do, and then you examine each one and pick a card or three cards for each possibility and look at, examine the strengths and weaknesses of different possibilities. So let's say he wants to become a, a, a musician, which lots of 17 year olds probably do. Let's say he wants to become a musician and you choose three cards and let's do a yes, no, or a, a three card spread to get an idea of whether it's a good idea or not. And let's say he wants to be a musician, you get the sun reversed, judgment reversed, and the ten of swords. 
becoming a musician is not such a good idea, just because of the cards reversed up uh, major trumps and the ten of swords. Um, so with the reverse sun, he's not going to have any direction. With reverse judgment, is not going to make it. He, he isn't going to have breakthroughs. So maybe he wants to be inspired to, to create music and it's not going to happen. And then the Ten of Swords, he's going to be stabbed in the back by the bandmates. Let's see he's in a band. So he was, he's up against, it's a cutthroat business, sword, cutthroat. And um, uh, people are going to um, undermine him. They're going to uh, hurt him one way or the other. And that can be that he writes something and they take the credit or they promise they'll be there and they don't show up or he 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 rents space in a studio and uh it was a rip, a rip off it was it, you know it wasn't really a proper studio or you know things like that whatever could go wrong with making music that's the kind of thing that's going to go wrong whereas let's say he's also interested in becoming a poet for instance and so you and you you get the three cups for celebration, um, the sun upright, and um, uh, the page of pentacles. I don't know. Okay, so th that's that's a much better indication um, that he's got a, a future, a satisfying future, because it's not just about having a job. There probably ought to be some kind of satisfaction as well in what he's going to spend a lot of his time doing. And it looks on those three cards, which I can't remember. Um, even though it was only like two seconds ago. Um, so it looks like there would be a sense of satisfaction from, 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 from being a poet. And that might mean that he he gets a degree in 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 literature as a background to having something to say or or studying what other poets have actually explained or described and then he's got a third choice and so so you you would look at each of the items on the list and give him some information about the strengths and weaknesses of the different plans and that helps him narrow his choices. But in the end, if he chooses, let's say, to become a poet, he wanted it in the first place. He brought it up in the first place. And the cards that came up indicate that he can be, he can have a success or have success or be a success um, in that area of expertise. Okay, that's it for the moment. Thank you very much. Tomorrow, we'll, I'm not sure what it will be, but it will be something. Okay, bye-bye.